the studio Q and Jennifer Lewis is in the house. How's everybody? All right now. Studio Q show. Now you know. My grandmother was in the garden and I just gotten out of school. I was in the sixth grade and she was pulling her collard greens up and she fell. Mm. And I ran down that hill to help her. Whoo, girl, you getting it out of me today. And she looked at me, she said, don't help me. And I was like, she said, if I can't get up by myself, then I don't need to get up. Baby, don't think that didn't take me through life. All during those depression, bipolar years when I wasn't medicated and I hadn't been to therapy, everybody was dying from AIDS and oh, it's just so. I would remember what my grandmother said. Mm -hmm. I gotta get up, I gotta get up on my own. I, I gotta use both of my hands and pull myself up out of this bed, out of mm -hmm. this dark room. And I got to get out there and honor my gifts. Because, mm -hmm. baby, I was given some. Woo! God said, boom! <laughs> I went, oh! <laughs> so I had to. I had to. I had to stop smoking so my voice would be mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. I couldn't drink because, I mean, I stopped drinking. I almost, I almost died from the flu once. And that's what, I stopped smoking and drinking 12 years ago on a dime. I told God, I said, you get me up off this sofa, I'll give it all up. Of course, I didn't give up sex. <laughs> How's everybody? All right, now. Here we go. Right. I said that to Oprah. I said, oh, no. <laughs> Ooh, when I got on that medication. And this is the thing, y'all. I know I'm skipping around, but mm. you have to be patient for your levels. Okay. That's the most important part. You know, you'll get on some medication, you'll be like, oh, this is horrible. I got dry mouth. Ooh, my sexual desire went away. Okay, so lessen that milligram but don't not take care of yourself i'm not pushing any um uh, um uh, given or specific mm -hmm. drug you know i think we got too much of that out in the world anyway you right. know help yourself but if you really need it it's mm -hmm. like high blood pressure it's like you know cancer mm -hmm. take care of yourself You better go and talk to somebody yeah. if you need to. And you better tell the truth. That's, some, that's hard work. You've got to feel those feelings. And if you don't have anybody to talk to, write. Get a journal and write, write, write your feelings down. Have your feelings so you don't go out and take it out on somebody else. Do the work. When you get up in the morning, write. Mm -hmm. Write. What am I going to do today? How do I feel about the people I have to see today? Mm -hmm. You know, what can I manifest for myself? What do I want? Do I want to eat healthy today? Am I, am I going to take care of myself? And I get up and take a shower, get out there in the world, help somebody else? If you bored, something's wrong with you. Yeah. Go help somebody. Do something. Well, when you've done something for somebody, Hello. <laughs> when you've done something for somebody, that makes you just feel great. Mm -hmm. Especially a kid. Mm -hmm. Especially a kid. Whew. Well, I grow every day. And to be just a little bit more dramatic, I grow every hour. I, heard that. I don't waste life anymore. I'm 55, honey. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm, I figure I got, what, 40 more years? I'm going to use them. I know how important it is to do what makes you feel good. My daughter walks out of here. She says, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I said, go ahead. Go see how that feels. Mm -hmm. See, feelings is the universal language. Mm -hmm. If somebody comes to your door and, and they're speaking another language and their kid is under a truck down the street, you ain't got to know their language. Mm -hmm. You know something's wrong. Yeah. So it's how somebody feels that says who they are in that moment. Mm -hmm. You know. And if you got a lot of trouble, 
I'm going to share a little trick with you. It's not a trick, it's just something I do. Okay, here's the example. Um, I cycle. I ride my bike. Mm -hmm. no, it's not stationary, but out in the world. And I was upset with my daughter one day. And I'm just a huffing and puffing on my bike. I said to myself, now Jenny, because see, I live in California. You might want to watch yourself. What if an earthquake hits right at this moment? A 9.2 hit this baby. Mm -hmm. You're going to go down huffing and puffing. After all that work you did. After all of that. You go out of here huffing and puffing. Mm -hmm. In that moment. You can change to a better thought. Mm -hmm. I love my daughter. Mm -hmm. She's living her life. She's healthy. Find the better thoughts. Mm -hmm. Of course, you know you're going to be mad at your kid and, you know. Like I told Tupac, time ain't forever. You better get it together, honey, because life is wonderful. Do the work, write down your feelings, and tell somebody you're sorry. Mm -hmm. it's just, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Two words. Yeah. But if you keep saying them, then it won't mean nothing. Uh, I've lived a full life. I've done 60 films. I've done 259. Well, I just got a, another film, so 61. Mm -hmm. Knocking on wood. Very grateful. Um. Four Broadway shows, I've, I've, you know, performed on, I think, you know, five continents. I've lived. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna tell you how many men I've been with. <laughs> A lot of men. <laughs> but I have found love. Mm -hmm. My sisters are healthy. I lost a brother, I believe, three years ago, maybe two. I miss him. Yeah. You know. Right. So, all I'm saying to everybody is, Live, vote, know that you are important, that you're part of this symphony called life. And if you weren't here, you would have been missed. And we owe, by the way, who, as Americans, we owe. Mm -hmm. So do your best mm -hmm. and leave the rest. I know exactly what I would say to my 13-year-old self. And this is exactly how I'd say it to her. Go on, baby. Because everything is going to be alright. That's what I'd say to her. Because that go on, baby. You know, that's what your aunts and, and your, 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 your peers say when you sing a song. Go on, Jenny. Right. It, it, when, when I hear that, sing, baby. Go on, Jenny. Whew. Oh, of course they saw <laughs> themselves in me. I look so much like my mother, honey. Oh, my God. My mother went, and I was born. <laughs> you can only pull from your life. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you create a character, mm -hmm. and those are St. Louis women, you know, <laughs> Shirley, Gloria, Margaret, Janice, Mary. Yeah, my mother's the oldest of 16. Wow. Yeah. I have this song called Grandma Small, and one of the lyrics is, my mama's the oldest of 16 kids, and I'm the baby of seven. Cat Johnny drove a big gray Cadillac, and everybody thought that he was in heaven. But my grandma Small, she took care of me. My grandma small made cabbage for me. Mm -hmm. My grandma small took me in, even when I didn't laugh. Mm -hmm. I wow. sang that at her funeral. You were able to. Absolutely. Love my grandma.
Every time I go home, honey, it's a marching band at the airport. I'm telling <laughs> you, they love them some Jennifer Lewis back there. And I, whew, I want to look in the camera today and just thank everybody back home. You know, they all knew though. I, I used to put on my choir robe at church and go, I'm gonna be a star. <laughs> <laughs> They were sick of me. <laughs> it was like, God, please let her be a star so she can get the <laughs> hell out of here. I knew that I had those gifts. I knew that when I walked in a room and sang a song, everybody stopped. I knew when I opened my mouth as little Jenny Lewis, somebody was listening. And then I started doing talent shows in the Catholic school basement, right. charging 35 cents to get in. <laughs> and you know, my, my little cousin was my pips and I was glad it's night. <laughs> they used to complain I didn't give them none of the money. You know, 35 cents to get in. I said, hell no, y'all don't get no money. Y'all pips. <laughs> And honey, they would sell out. Right. Ken Locke would come out to my talent shows. And then from that, you know, singing in the church choir, I became president of my class. Yeah, I, was, I had leadership ability mm -hmm. with this booming voice and this passion for life. I don't say that I was an intellect, but I was smart. Mm -hmm. I, and the only reason I say I wasn't an intellect is because I didn't pay any attention in class. <laughs> I was like up there singing a song. They said, we need a report from Jennifer. I'd go, you'll be slow. You'll be great. You know. I'd be like, what the hell? I was sling singing at the Merman in Kenlock. They said, this is an odd person. So I had that leadership ability. I was captain of the cheerleading squad and, and president of my class for seven years. I won by one vote senior year. Girl, I cussed them out so bad. I said, who the hell y'all voting for? <laughs> Who was you against? Yeah, you my know? cousin, <laughs> Richard, Richard Parks, and I won by one vote. I'd have killed them if I hadn't won. Of course, I'd have killed him too. I, I love what I do and when you love what you do, you're going to be on time. Mm -hmm. You're going to be professional. You're going to say what you feel. You're going to speak the truth. You know, when I was manic, you know, I got on people's nerves. But I got away with it because I was so cute. I was as cute as I could be. Still is. And I, but I had, and I had talent. Mm -hmm. But there were times when people didn't want to work with me because I was too much. But I always save the day because then I'd sing them a song. I'd sing you a song and rock you to sleep, baby. Because no matter how manic I was, there was no malice in me. I, I was never a bitch or nasty. Or, you, won't, you won't find that many stories like that about me. A couple. <laughs> but, you know, you won't. I didn't lie. I told the truth. Not my truth, you know. When I first got to New York, I got my first Broadway show within two weeks of arriving. It's unheard of. But I got it because there was no fear in me mm -hmm. then. I called my mother when I first got to New York and, I, and you know, I'd never even seen buildings that tall. Come from on. Kenlock to, to New York City. <laughs> and I called my mother and I was like, everybody wants to be a, a star. And, and I, I think, it's too big. Oh, mama, I, I want to come home. Honey, two weeks later, I was like, pack up, baby. <laughs> Ah, your girl's on Broadway. Ah, you know. <laughs> Studio Q Show.